Good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. This morning, our verses. The first verse is written in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. It read, And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. And the second verse is written in James 1.17. It read, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Most of the time, we take for granted treasures that we have, things that are so important that we are currently enjoying, like job, like our position. We take for granted the opportunities, relationship, gifts, skills, even people's trust, sometimes even our senses. We take for granted. I read a short story written by the Brazilian poet Olavo Bilac. He wrote, uh, the owner of a small business, a friend of the Brazilian poet Olavo Bilac, met him on the street and asked, Mr. Bilac, I need to sell my small farm, the one you know so well. Could you please write an announcement for me on the paper? For that, Bilak wrote, and this is what he have written, For sale, a beautiful property, where birds sing at dawn in extensive woodland, bisected by the brilliant and sparkling waters of a large stream. The house is bathed by the rising sun, it offers tranquil shade in the evenings on the veranda. Then, sometime later, Mr. Bilak met his friend and asked whether he had sold the property, to which he replied, I've changed my mind, Mr. Bilak. When I read what you have written, I realized the treasure that was mine. End of the story. Sometimes we underestimate the good things we have. Chasing after the mirage of false treasures. Let us look around and appreciate the things that we currently have. Like our home, your loved ones, your friends on whom you can really count, even the knowledge you have gained through experience, even your good health, and all the beautiful things of life that are truly your most precious treasure. Let us ask God that at every moment, that our problems and even our concerns will never degenerate into feelings of sadness and anxiety. Let us always commune with God, who will provide the courage we needed for victory in the struggle. Because God, like the verses that we read, God gives with abundance what we need. So let us look again at those verses. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, 
it read, And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. And James chapter 1 verse 17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, truly we have so many things to thank you for. Heavenly Father, we have a lot of blessings that comes from you. And most of the time, Heavenly Father, we took for granted of those. Heavenly Father, open our eyes so that we may see the treasures, the greatest possessions that we have, those gifts that comes from you. Heavenly Father, open our eyes to thank and appreciate those treasures like our job, like even our position, even the opportunities that comes to our life, even relationships. Help us to treasure it, even the gifts and skills that you had given us. Heavenly Father, we thank you, even people's trust, even our senses. We thank you for giving it to us. Heavenly Father, there are so many things. Help us to count it one by one and give you praises and honor because truly those are precious treasures, precious possessions that come from our loving Heavenly Father. And with that, we thank you and give you all the honor and all the glory in the most precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Good morning!